Hey guys, Mike here from Anti Vegan Nonsense, and today I came across this article from Canadian Manufacturing dated September 24th, 2020, talking about how the dairy farmers of Canada are pleased with throne speech commitments for farmers, which means that the Canadian government is giving the dairy industry even more money. Because by 2024, 18% of domestic dairy production will be outsourced to foreign dairy farmers. All this means, all this means is the Canadian government's going to be giving them money to help them offset the money that they lose in competition. I thought that's the whole point to a capitalist society. If you can't make it as a company, then you will shut down. Why are we bailing this industry out again and again and again? So let's scroll down a little bit and we'll see right here. When every year you lose $450 million in domestic production being transferred to foreign dairy farmers, words aren't enough because they want to see money in their hand. They don't care about your words. They want to see the monetary commitment. And here's the Canadian government giving it to them. By supporting its dairy farming families, the federal government would send a clear signal that they have heard Canadians when it comes to the issue of food security and sovereignty. Really, what food security are they talking about? The one that's making a lot of people sick? The one that is being covered up? constantly by the very government that they're trusting on their food security? Oh, but here's why. The dairy sector is one of the largest agricultural sectors in Canada. It supports more than 221,000 full-time equivalent jobs, contributes $19.9 billion per year to Canada's GDP, and generates $3.8 billion per year in tax revenue. That's why they're putting money into it. And they're not just putting a little bit, because they have a dairy processing investment fund. Here's three projects that have been funded by the Canadian government. Empire Cheese for $171,000, Kawartha Dairy for $301,000, and Mariposa Dairy for $2 million. So there you go, Canada. Two and a half million dollars of your taxes being shelled out to the dairy industry. Three companies, two and a half million of your Canadian tax dollars. Bravo, Canada. But if you really wonder why they're putting this kind of money in, because it brings them in so much more. Take a look at these numbers. It starts at... 2 billion 700 million these are monthly numbers in the gdp that is generated from the dairy industry so if we look at these final numbers here december 2015 2 billion 820 million and if we take a look at december 2019 and we've got 3 billion 87 million that's a 200 million dollar increase since 2015 to 2019 this is insane this has to stop this really has to stop we have to stop funding this industry why are we funding this which makes people sick instead of funding vegetables. It's absolutely horrendous. I'm going to link everything below. You can take a look, make your own conclusions, but everything I'm seeing here just, just shows you how corrupt these governments actually are and how intertwined the industry is. It's just insane. It's almost as if this industry and the government are actually the same entity. Anyways, I'm Mike, and watch out for more of that anti-vegan nonsense.